Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. And today I'll be teaching you about how you can actually create a malicious Excel sheet that once you send it to a user, and if they clicked on it and they open up the file, that's it. Game over. And we have full control of the entire computer system. That's pretty scary, isn't it? And please do not send this to anyone. All right, so big disclaimer, hacking is illegal. And don't try to hack anyone. And don't try to hack me either. If you send it to me, I'll try to hack you back. And if I hack you back, that's it. Game over for you. All right, just kidding. Let's keep this a nice and engaging manner in learning ethical hacking together. All right. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So right in front of us, I've called Linux running. And what we can do now is to go ahead and open up a Firefox browser. All right. So I can go to the top left corner enter Firefox and go ahead and open up this browser. It can be any browser, whichever browser it is. So this is the place where you want to do a git clone on the file. So I can enter Empire. And this is a fork on the original Empire PowerShell framework. And what you have done here is that because the previous Empire framework has been archived, so BC Security has taken the liberty to actually help update and ensure that we have compatibility in the Arial of dependency so that we are able to continue running Empire Framework. So what I can do now is open up Terminal and I can zoom a little more and I can CD into my download. So I've actually went ahead and downloaded a file. So I can CD into Empire and I can enter LS. So these are the list of files that we have downloaded as part of using Empire Framework, okay? So all I got to do now is enter super user do poetry run Python Empire. Hit enter on this, enter your super user password Hit enter and now we are opening up the Empire Framework. So that's fantastic. As quickly as that, we can start up the Empire Framework to create a malicious Excel sheet that you can send to literally anyone. And once they double click onto the file, all right, that's it, game over. We will have full, complete control of the computer system. And I'll be showing you that in a moment. So what we can do now in Empire Framework is we can enter help. So this will show us the list of commands that we can actually issue as part of Empire Framework. So what I can do now is enter listeners, so listeners are how we are able to set up a hacking server to give us complete control and remote control into the entire computer system. So all I got to do now is enter help. And we can see over here, all these are the commands for this specific listener. Okay. So all I got to do is enter use listener. All right. And double tap. And we have the list of listeners that we can use as part of launching our hacking server onto the internet. All right, so if you want to use the internet, you have to be able to enable port forwarding. All right, or you can use NGROK to help you enable those access from the internet all the way back to your hacker server that you're hosting either in your own virtual lab environment or in your cloud environment. Okay, so once you have used listener, enter HTTP. All right, so we'll be using HTTP as a listener. Hit enter on this, enter info. And all we got to do now is set the name. So I can set the name as, say, Loy HTTP. Hit enter on this. So we have now set the name and I can set the bind IP as 192.168.0.106. So this is the IP address of the Kali Linux machine, which is the hacker server. All right. And next up, we can set the port number as say 8888. Hit enter on this. And right here, right now, we have actually entered all the required information into the listener. So I can enter info to double check on the options that we have placed in. So we have name, we have host, we have bind IP, and we have port. So next up, what we can do is go ahead and enter, all right, execute, and this will begin running the listener. So right here, we can see listener successfully started. So we have started a hacker server. And as quickly as that, we are able to start out a hacking server and we can host it anywhere across the whole world to help us remotely control any of these devices. This is frightening. So going back to the tutorial right here, all I got to do now next up is to enter back, enter back, and now we're back to the main menu. So right now, what we need to do is to create the malicious file. All right, so we can create a malicious file by entering use, stager, double tap, and we have a number of malicious code executables that we can create very quickly together with Empire Framework. So all I got to do now is enter Windows, all right, double tap on this, and we can see all the payloads in association with Windows computers. So I can enter macro and hit enter on this. Okay, enter info, to see all the information required. So the main requirement is on listener. Okay, so we can set listener and double tap and it will automatically help us fill in the listener that we have created earlier. So that's fantastic. This is a lot of automation. Hit enter on this. Okay, enter info again. All right, and we have the following. So we have 
all the details and information right here. And all you got to do now is just go ahead and enter execute. All right, enter execute. And this is the file that we have created. So this is a list of code that we have created. And all I got to do is to copy this. All right, copy this whole chunk of code. All right, all the way from sub auto close to the end. Copy selection. And all I got to do right now is to open up a new terminal. And I can cd to var dub 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 html. All right, and I can see all the list of payloads that we have created earlier as part of all the tutorials on this YouTube channel. All right, and this is for your learning on article hacking. I really recommend you subscribe to the channel to learn all about article hacking and penetration testing. All right, so next up, what I can do is to go ahead and enter all right, and create a new file sudo touch, and we can create and name it as say a hacker loy macro. All right, so let's name it as hacker loy macro, and we can enter the password for super user do. And what's next is that I can go ahead and use sudo mouse pad. So this is an editor, text editor, hacker loy macro. Hit enter on this and we'll be prompted with the mouse pad text editor. And I got to paste the code right here and save it. So I can click file. All right. And I can click save or you can use control S. Close it and that's it. We're done. We have uploaded the file all the way back into Kali Linux under Apache server. All right. So all I got to do next is to enter systemctl. Followed by status, Apache 2, hit enter on this. And we can see right here, we have Apache, which is a web server running that can host our malicious code. Next up, what I can do is to use a computer system to actually download those files, right? So next, I can open up my Firefox on my main computer, all right? And this is a preparation in advance for this tutorial. So now I can change it to hackle, loy, macro, hit enter on this. And we have the following creation, all right? Sub, auto, close, and so on and so forth. So I can scroll all the way to the bottom and I can copy this, all right? And I can save it into a file, all right? So what I can do is to go ahead and save this into a file. So right here, I have a number of Excel sheets, all right? I have a number of Excel sheets. I have Salary Notepad. So I have Salary Firefox and I have Salary Empire, all right? So what I want to do now is to go ahead and double click on to say Salary Firefox. When I double clicked on this, you realize something will happen. A new Firefox gets popped up, right? So why is this happening? It's because if I go back into the code, all right, I click under view and I can click under macros and I click view macros. So right here we have an auto open and I can click edit on this and you can see the following, all right? So we have sub auto open and we have OBJ shell, all right? So we can see creation of object and it will actually run Firefox directly from here. So just within an Excel sheet, we can run a lot of code, a lot of different kinds of commands. We can shut down the computer, we can download files, we can upload files and many, many other different capabilities. So what's next is I'm going to, all right, paste what we have just copied from the malicious code. And now I got to change auto close to auto underscore open and I can save this, close it right now. Okay, and next up, what I can do is to double click onto the file and let's see what happens. All right, so I'll double click on it and there's a huge pop up immediately. And now I can go back into Kali Linux and right here, going back to Empire Framework. All right, and I can see at the bottom, we have the following. All right, we have the initial agent. So we have hacked into the computer system. How can we verify that? All you got to do is enter agents and we can see one agent that we are interacting with now, remotely controlling it. So all you got to do is enter interact and followed by 97WPBGXU. So depending on the agent and the target device that you hacked it into, so they would have a unique naming for them. And we can see here, we have the machine name as PC, username as PC Young, and process as PowerShell. So we hit enter on interact. And right now we are in, we can do all sorts of commands into the computer system. And all you got to do, all right, is enter help. And it will show you the list of instructions that you can send directly into the computer, the hacked machine, which is the host machine that I'm doing this demonstration and tutorial for you. All right, so this is really frightening and scary. And once you're in, you can enter info to get information of the current agent that you have against the computer. So you can see here, we have the IP address of 192.168.0.185. So this is the target machine, all right? And we have the internal IP address, 
we have the last scene, we have the operating system details, and we have the process name, which is PowerShell and process ID. And this shows that we have complete control of the entire computer system. All right, and let me know what kind of post exploitation module that you're using to gain further access and privilege escalation against the target machine. So once again, I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of the questions. And remember like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can become abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.